Alright, that was a hard three points there, but three points nonetheless. What do you think of the game? No, the, the win sort of spoiled it for both teams, but we, uh, I can think in the second half he controlled the game and never really looked at getting beat actually. I think the, the, the two goals came quite quickly, one after each other, which uh, I think suited us, helped us uh, settle. Yeah, it definitely did. But you, you always need the third goal. It obviously never came, but you, you certainly, it, it, puts you, it, well, it gives you some kind of breathing space as such. So. Yeah, it's, it's usually a killer way to, to, to lose a, a commanding uh, foothold in the game and let the opposition in. But we, we, we managed to hold out, uh, so, so fair play to the boys. Who would, who would your man of the match be? Oh, I'd need to go with Big Ryan because he was always steady and it was difficult conditions and he, he yeah. played he played really well. Another two another two great saves. Yes, he definitely um, did. Yeah. Murray, thanks very much. No problem, thank you. Andy, first game back uh, in a while since your injury. Uh, how did you get on? How did you how did you get feel with the match went? Ah, it was good to get back out playing there, uh, back enjoying my football. Um, ah, the match went well, maybe. Uh, not so great at the start, gave away the penalty, thought it was quite soft right enough, but yeah. I appeared for that, I thought uh, we handled the weather conditions very well and played as a team and yeah. I dug in, got the result and end. Yeah, there was always a fear that the, the wind might spoil the game, but I thought we coped with it quite well. Definitely, I mean the wind was in our face first half to, to keep it to 1-0 in the first half and even create a few chances of ourselves, so in the second half we always knew we could uh, we could get the win. Yeah, in typical Kello fashion, at times we looked quite nervous when uh, the, the finishing um, line was in sight. Aye, that's, that's just a bit of excitement, isn't it? Uh, but no, we thought we handled it well, team uh, dug in, great performance. Fantastic, great to see you back Andy, thanks very much. Ideal, cheers. Well Tony, that was a, a hard, uh, a well deserved three points, but a hard fought three points. What was your take on the game? Definitely, I thought it was a game of two halves. Um, the conditions were horrendous for the players to play in. Um, the wind played a big part uh, for both teams, so it was a very hard fought victory. Um, I thought the boys deserved it over the 90 minutes. Andy Strother stepped in uh, after being away for, for, for in, with injury for a, 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 quite a time. Um, how do you think he did? He didn't look at a place, he didn't look as if he was ever away. Um, we just need to get him a run of games now and get, get him up to match fitness. Um, and hopefully over the, the, the last six, seven games, what we've got left, he, he can stay injury free and get a run of games. Yeah, and Big Dunsey, a couple of great saves from him again today. Yeah, he's outstanding. He's he's pulled off some cracking saves again. He does it every single week, to be fair to him. Um, so hopefully we can we can keep him for next season. Yeah, and how's your heart rate for the last five minutes? At times I thought we maybe rode, well not rode a lot, but we uh, we certainly invited a wee bit of pressure at times. We did, the, the, the wind died down a wee bit in the second half, uh, near the end of the game, and Ashfield are obviously chasing the, the equaliser, so naturally we've just sat in and uh, we'll get deeper and deeper, but the boys defended really well and every single player was outstanding today. Yeah, three points away from home this week. Dropped two points at home last week. Must be a wee um, source of frustration for you. Definitely, I, I thought we sh should have won the game last week. We we created so many chances um, and we didn't we didn't execute them. Um, same again today. We've had a couple of chances that we've not executed as well. But we worked on them against the night. We've managed to get two goals today. So hopefully we can build on that in the weeks going forward. Yeah, just a wee start for you. The last time Kelly Rovers was here was in 1971. Um, and I think someone had said they, they went on a nine, they were on a nine-month uh, winning streak. Uh, so back up to, to Ashfield and we get three points. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can go and beat them for nine months. I'll be very <laughs> happy with that. Uh, definitely. Tony, thanks very much. Cheers.